guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 227 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already did it, let's just dive right in. The random variables x and y have a joint probability function, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to make a little chart here. x can take on a value 0, 1. y can take on a value 0, 1, and 2. Suppose that 3, the probability of 1, 2 is 3 times the probability of 1, 1. And p of 1, 1 maximizes the variance of x, y. All right, so then I'm going to let p of 1, 1 be equal to z. Okay, so 1, 1 is equal to z. Then probability of 1, 2 then will be 3 times z. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. And we know that the variance of x, y is, as I always, our favorite formula. x, y, this whole thing's the second moment minus the x, y, the whole thing squared. We know anything that has zero in it is just going to be zero. So if we're trying to find the expectation of x, y, it's just going to be equal to 1 times z plus, um, this is 2 comma 1, so that's just going to take the value of 2 times 3z, which is going to be equal to 7z. Alright, now for the e, x, y second moment, we just have to square the x value, so this will be 2 squared times 3z. So this is going to be equal to z plus 12z, which is equal to 13z. When we plug it into our variance formula, we get 13z minus 7 squared, which is 49z squared, right? And we're trying to find something that maximizes, we're trying to maximize it. So as always, back in those calc two days, in order to maximize anything, we just have to take the derivative. When we take the derivative, in terms of z, of variance, we get that this is equal to 13 minus 98z, and we set that equal to zero. So we get 13 equals 98z. So then z is equal to 13 over 98. So that is something that's going to maximize. As you can see, this is like a little hyperbola. The maximization point is right here. So we just took the derivative when the slope is equal to zero and, and solve for z. Back to those calc 2 stuff. So now we, our modified graph looks like this. If z is 13 over 98 and z, um, 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 is 3 times that, that's going to be 39 over 98. The probability that it's going to be x or y is 0 is everything but those. So we, have, we just have to do 1 minus 39 over 98 minus 13 over 98, which is equal to 23 over 49, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!